Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jason and welcome to another Power Saves tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the legendary event Pokemon Hoopa. Now, a lot of people have been asking me this ever since I started my Hoopa only playthrough. How do you get a Hoopa? And surprisingly, I don't know how people haven't actually figured this out yet that Hoopa isn't actually released. Just like Volcania, it's not actually released, but you don't see Volcanian that much. Hoopa is another Pokemon that is not released yet, just like just like Volcanium, just like Dianchi. Well, Dianchi is released, but it was only released for a short period of time, so if you have one, you're kind of lucky. Um, and I'll do another tutorial for Dianchi as well, because, I mean, why not? I mean, it's in, it's in, it's in that event... What is with me not being able to talk today? It's in that event Legendary Trio, so... I'll do another one for who, uh, for uh, Dianchi as well, even though it is already technically released. But anyway, I'll show you guys how to get Hoopa in just a second. If you guys could slap that like button down below, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if we could maybe hit 25 likes on this video, that would be pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the video. <laughs> Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Hoopa, like I said. And for this uh, method, you're going to need a couple of things. The first thing you're going to need is a power save. Uh, you can get these from any, basically any gaming store, like EB Games if you live in Canada or Australia, um, GameStop if you live in the US, whatever, Future Shop, Radio Shack, Best Buy, Walmart, any any place that sells electronic stuff, you can get one of these here. They're about $25 um, US slash Canadian. I don't know how much that would be in, um, in like, pounds or whatever it is in like the uk i'm not sure you have to figure it out in your conversion rate they're not that cheap or sorry they're not that expensive though they're pretty damn cheap so yeah i guess i guess it's really not gonna be that hard to get one and then you're also gonna need a copy of either omega ruby alpha sapphire or x and y i'm just gonna use my omega ruby right here so that's what i'm gonna be using for this um and then obviously you're gonna need 3ds and the computer and, and the access so if you have all those things which i'm sure you probably do and you wouldn't have internet access if you weren't watching this video so I'm pretty sure you guys got all those things that I just mentioned. So anyway, I'll see you guys when we get onto the actual tutorial. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your game cartridge into your power save. You'll need to download this power save software from uh, Dado's website. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if you don't already have it and it's just your first time using power saves. Anyway, once your uh, game is actually plugged in, just give it a couple minutes here to load up. Not really minutes, but it'll take a couple seconds to load up. Mine's taking a little longer than usual, but that's okay. That's all good. But anyway, so now that we're actually open in Power Saves, what you're going to want to do, now this is pretty simple. This is as simple as it gets. This is a bit easier. If you see my Volcanian video on how to get Volcanian, um, that one's a little bit um, more tricky because you just got to do an extra step or two. This one's really damn easy. It's not hard at all. All you got to do is you got to go to the Wonder Card slot. Go to Fake Wonder Cards. And go ahead and just hit Hoopa. You can either get Shiny or Unshiny. doesn't really matter. At this point, uh, you can't even take it online anyway. So, you can make a shiny just to use it in game or not. Doesn't doesn't really matter at all. You can pick. I'll just do shiny for the sake of this because, I mean, some people just haven't seen this yet, I suppose. So, anyway. So, there's Hoopa. I'll make a shiny just because why not. Um, but, uh, that's all you gotta do. That's literally all you gotta do. You don't have to do any of the, um, you know, discard Master Ball thing. That's only if you're gonna get a Pokemon that you want a specific one for. Uh, but other than that, that's literally all it is to get Hoopa. So... Yeah, so hit apply, apply the changes, and then I'll see you guys in game. So we're loading up our Omega Ruby or whatever copy of which game you're using, doesn't really matter. Open up the uh, actual save file, obviously. And then you're gonna notice there's a Pokemon, or there's a Pokemon, there's a woman in blue in the Pokemon Center. You just gotta talk to her, she says, Good day, you must be Jason. I've got a mystery gift for you with your name on it. Here you are. Received Hoopa. That's about it. That's literally as easy as it is. That's how you get Hoopa. And it's pretty pretty damn simple. Now, there's also something else I can show you. Well, I can't actually show you gameplay of it because I've already done it before. But there's something you can do. So, once you receive Hoopa and you actually get it in your party, I'll just quickly show it off because uh, probably would be necessary. So, here we go. Here's Hoopa. It comes with Trick, Destiny Bond, Ally Switch, or Ally Switch, and uh, Confusion. There you go. It is shiny. It's a pretty nice golden color. That's actually a really cool shiny. Not even going to lie. Um, but yeah, that's literally how you get Hoopa. Now, one thing you can do is, if you, in case you don't know, or if you haven't been watching my Hoopa only playthrough on Alpha Sapphire, you can actually get Hoopa in a different form than what it is now, and it will turn from being a Psychic Ghost to a Psychic Dark type, and it's called Unbound Hoopa. Now, in order to get Unbound Hoopa, what you're going to need to do is have Hoopa in your party, and then go into a Pokemart. Now, because I've already done this in-game event, 
I won't get it again because I already have the item. But when you walk in, there will be a guy in this corner. This is in any Pokemart, doesn't matter which one. You walk in the corner, there'll be a guy in here. He'll tell you a story about how one night he was working the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Center. Um, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. He was working the Pokemon shift by himself, and a creepy old man came in, gave him a package, and inside of it was this bottle called the Prison Bottle. And long story short, the Prison Bottle is a key item that allows you to change Hoopa's form at any point in time. So you're gonna go over to your uh, key items, and I believe it's all the way down to the P's. Wait, where is it? Do I not have it? Do I not have it? Oh, here it is, my bad. It's all the way at the bottom. Prison bottle. So there's a prison bottle, and uh, it's a bottle believed to have used to seal away the power of a certain Pokemon long, long ago. Now, if you'll notice something, this kind of looks a little bit small, it'd be kind of like a bottle, but it looks like something coming out the top of it, like a genie or something like that. And it's funny because it's like a genie in a bottle. This is actually funny because the Hoopa is considered a genie Pokemon, so it's kind of like a cool little, like not necessarily Easter egg, but just a little thing to throw in there. Uh, but anyway, so you're gonna go ahead and I'll show you on the bottom screen actually, because that's where this happens. You hit the, uh, you hit use on the prison bottle, and then you scroll down to Hoopa, use it, and Hoopa will transform into Unbound Hoopa. And I will quickly go show this off in battle uh, in case you haven't seen it before, but that's just kind of how it works. Um, let me quickly just put them up front in my party. Got a Barboge, okay. And then in comes Hoopa. Ooh, that's a dope shiny. That's a dope shiny, dude. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, now this actually, um, I believe it's called Hyperspace Fury is the move that this Pokemon gets. It's Hoopa's signature move. And I think I could show it off if I went and um, taught it. Now, obviously, he's going to die in one hit because he's only level 10. And this Barboge is like level 35. So, obviously, that wasn't the greatest matchup. But... I can show you guys something pretty cool here in a second that will uh, kind of show Hoopa's signature move and whatnot, so you guys can see it for yourself. Oh, so I love with um, with my Swamp or my bad. Okay, so uh, let's switch out to Hoopa and we'll show this baby off in action so you guys can see for yourself. Thing almost takes up the entire screen. That's crazy, man. Meryl's using defense curl. All right, I see you, Meryl. I see you. All right, now we're gonna show off the sick ass move. You guys need to see this animation. So there's that, and I believe it also does have one other move. <clears throat> okay, my bad. Now this is what I was talking about, Hyperspace Fury. This is the move that I was talking about, uh, but Hyperspace Hole is actually its psychic type thing. I had, I had to just quickly look that up because I thought I was getting something wrong. But there is Hyperspace Fury, which is its, this is its actual move that it gets. Uh, Hyperspace Hole is a signature move that it does get, but this is its real signature move. I guess this is the signature move for Hoopa Unbound form, and then um, the Hyperspace Hole is the one for regular Hoopa, I suppose. I guess that's how it works. But anyway, so we're going to reteach it uh, Hyperspace Fury just so you guys can see this for yourself. I'll get rid of uh, Confusion for it. See me in the background there. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna go show this off in battle. You thought the hyperspace hole was cool? Wait till you see this move. Alright, now you guys need to see this. So check out Hoopa Unbound using Hyperspace Fury. This is this is by far one of my favorite moves. It is so cool looking, man. Oh yeah. It's gonna do so much damage. Alright, Hyperspace Fury. That was pretty damn cool. You can see Hoopa like evilly laughing in the background of those. 
I don't know, man. I just personally think that that is such a cool ass move, and that is this is a really cool Pokemon. Hoopa is definitely one of the best designed Pokemon ever, in my opinion. Um, and th I think this is really what like an event legendary Pokemon should be, like something that's not you wouldn't want to find this in game. This thing would like mess you up in game. This, this thing looks evil, man. Like it literally just looks evil. Um, but anyway, so that's how you get Hoopa officially in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and X and Y as of right now. When the event comes out, uh, officially I will be covering that as well, but for right now this is the only way to get Hoopa, so for the people who have been asking me how will you actually obtain Hoopa, this is the only way as of right now to be able to get Hoopa. So, like I said guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below, it would be greatly appreciated, and um, yeah, also if we could maybe hit 25 likes on this, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, but anyway guys, my name is Jason, thank you all so much for watching, I'll talk to you guys next time, and also ID number 1337. Peace.